Hi, I would like to introduce you the compare sub library of the CAS standard. So let's start with equation block. This block is designed to be one pin block for space optimization within the SAPRO programming. We can extend it this block to be wider or we can change this block uh, for connection of the second value instead of writing the value into the block. So in case that we see the small rectangle around the orange field we can edit the value inside. So for example 15.2. If we don't see the rectangle only on only on orange orange field but uh, on the whole block so we cannot change the block and it open as the functionality behind so this logical block compare two values so if we create some random value for example uh, 15.1 and connect it to this input so it compares value 15.1 with uh, 15.0 in this case the logical result is false on the output in case that I change the value on the input so the logical output will be true because 15.0 is equal to 15.0 Oh, pardon, 15.2 is equal to 15.2. The same functionality has the block EQUI, which is uh, used for unsigned integer values. So it compares two unsigned integers. So let's say 88 is equal to zero not so the, the output of this block will be zero in case that I will put there the zero so zero is equal zero so the logical output of this block will be true in case that we don't want to write the value directly into the into the input field in this way so we can extend the block and put the second value directly to the second pin of the block so if there is for example number 3 so I can do the same functionality if I put there number 3 on the second pin now this second pin of the block has hi higher priority and the result is 0 because 0 is not equal to 3 so if I put there 3 as well so the logical output will be true. So now the result will be true on the output of this equation block. So let's continue with the other functionality. Next block is greater than block, which is the log logical comparison of the input and the second input field. So let's write there, for example, 15.2. And let's create a variable which is called video variable and it has value of type real and the init value is uh, 14 15.5 so add 
so now I will create a new value field with 14.4 and we will compare those two numbers. Is 15.4 greater than 15.2? The output of this block here is false. Instead of writing the value inside the field, we can directly write the variable. So instead of that, we can write with the variable which we created down there. Down there. So is 15.4 greater than 15.5? So the output is no. We can also write uh, the variable name into the variable field here. So video variable is greater than video variable? No, it's equal. So in this case we could write in this way. Okay, I think I didn't write it correctly. Video variable. Okay, now it's it's correct. So those two variables are same. So result of this equation block will be true. The result of this greater block will be false. The same functionality is for greater than UI which is for unsigned integer. Then in the compare library the less than comparison follows. So again we can compare two variables. So let's say 16.6 and the first variable will be we can directly drag and drop it from the field will be a video variable video variable is 15.5 which is less than 16.6 .6. so this output will be in a true state for this block then, in the same way, we have a unsigned integer comparison for pardon for less than block. The last two blocks we have here for comparison for basic comparison is a not equal block for real values and not equal block for unsigned integer values. So we can again use the video variable over here. So is video variable different from video variable? So the result of this non equation block is uh, false because both of them are same but in case that we will write 14.3 so then they are not equivalent and the output is true In case that we will write 15.5, so the result will be, the output will be again false because both of them, the value of video variable is, which is 15.5 is equal to 15.5, so they are not different. Therefore, the result is false on the output of this block.
So this is about the basic comparison of those blocks. The rest two blocks in this group have a little bit differ a different uh, function. They are used for backnet date, date input for backnet time comparison. The first one compares the input values of those block against the system time of the PLC and the result of it is state equal, greater or less. And uh, the second block, CMP BDT2, this one, uh, compares two different backnet times. So we have here two, uh, one the input for days and second for times value, time backnet values and um, the same for those D2 and T2 inputs. The result is again equal, greater or less uh, compared to the first input D1 and T1. In case that you are not sure by the functionality, uh, press F1 on a keyboard. The functionality itself is described here. So we can read that uh, those WW are for weekdays in case that the value is FF, so the value is any. Then DD are for days, MM are for months, and YY are for years. The second input, which is in this format, consists of seconds, minutes and hours. As I have already mentioned, this block compares the functionality against a system time, which must be set in a scope tool. You can even see the use case in this help. So if the DT0 and TM0 values are bigger than the system time, then the result is 1, which means that it's greater than the system time. Similarly, the functionality for this second block. As you can see in the help, if you press the button, the button as F1 on the keyboard. Okay, thank you for the attention and bye.